Hey guys, it's Steve here at Hangster's Hot Rods, and what we have for you to, for you in a moment is this 64 Chevrolet Nova. But before we get to the car, we're going to go over some new things that we're doing here at Hangster's. Um, if you want to purchase a car from us and say it doesn't have the wheels and tires that you want, or maybe you want a different exhaust system or digital gauges, or you want fuel injection, or maybe you want air conditioning, we can do vintage air. We're doing all those things here. If you want to get something changed on a vehicle that may increase the chances of you purchasing it from us, just give us a call. We'll get you a quote on how much that would be. Uh, you want to change something on the car to make it perfect for you or just the way you like it, let us know and we'll see if we can make that happen for you. Also, we want to remind everyone that we have powertrain warranties on all of our vehicles. Um, uh, you'll see it listed on our website next to each vehicle. That is engine transmission differential, internally lubricated parts only. And also, if you have a four-wheel drive, of course, that would include transfer case, front diff, and so on. We also want to remind everyone that shipping is included in our prices on the website. Uh, within the 48 states, we'll get that shipped to your door there. Um, or if you have another location, just let us know. We also would like to uh, encourage everyone to go on to YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you can see our videos of all of our current vehicles and some of our past vehicles. Get a sense of what we have here at Hangsters. What we're going to do now is we're going to move right on to this car. It's a beautiful 1964 Chevrolet Nova. Um, first thing you notice is the paint. It's like a dark gray, a titanium gray with the red racing stripes up the middle. And we're going to get a good view of those as we do the front and rear uh, viewpoints. Paint, very nice gloss around the paint, really shines well. Second thing you notice is wheels and tires. We got the aluminum American Racing Torque Thrust wheels with the uh, gray centers and the polished lip. And of course, that is the whole way around. Coming up to our first gap on the driver's side, passenger, I mean, driver's side front fender to door. Gap is very even going down. Of course, you got your body lines here, here, and here lining up very nicely. Driver's side of the windshield, no chips and cracks. Driver's side glass, no chips and cracks. Really great shape there. Uh, before we open up the door, I'm going to do our second gap driver's side. Driver's side door to quarter panel. Pretty even going down. And you can see here, we've got our body lines here, here, and here lining up great. And of course, our molding as well. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to open up the driver's side door so you can see the interior from this point of view. Red vinyl buckets in the front, bench in the rear, beautiful red seats, uh, red carpeting, door panels are in great shape, red as well. You can see the dash is in great condition. It does have the factory tachometer there. You got the B&M floor shifter with the uh, custom center console there and aftermarket gauges. Very nice interior. Moving along, coming around to the back, uh, you see we got the chrome gas cap there, it goes with the bumpers there, gives it a, a nice racy look. The back uh, window here, the vehicle, no chips and cracks. Of course, you can see right through there, you do have the dual speakers in the rear package tray. We also have the red stripes here on the uh, trunk lid. You can see, and we also have them on the hood, you'll get a good view of them on the hood as we come around there. Um, gapping for the rear trunk, pretty even the whole way around. Very nice. Coming around to the back, our rear bumper chrome is in great condition. Really nice shape. And of course, our trim here is in good shape there. You got a little bit of patina on it, but it's pretty nice condition as well. What I'm going to do now is open up the trunk. So we'll go over everything in here. Underneath the trunk lid, body color. Our jams, whole way around, are in great condition. You can see also very nicely painted. Our weather stripping, whole way around, great shape and intact. Down here in the trunk, you will see all your indentations and embossments, your mounts, all in great shape. Trunk floor really nice and painted in a rough textured blackish gray paint. Moving along, coming around the passenger side. Again, the paint, really nice gloss on the paint. Coming up to our first gap passenger side. Quarter panel to door. Very even going down. Body lines here, here, and here line up very nicely. Passenger side glass, no chips and cracks on that. 
What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the passenger door so you get a uh, good view of the interior from this side. You see the seats are in great shape. We do have front seat belts in this vehicle. Carpet in great shape. You can see the console there and the dash. Really nice condition. Moving along. Coming up to our second gap passenger side, door to front fender. Pretty even going down. You can see our body lines here, here, and here line up very nicely. Passenger side of windshield, no chips and cracks. Our hood gapping parallel to the fenders is very nice, both sides. And of course we do have a two inch steel cow induction hood on this vehicle as well. And now you can get a good view of the stripes. Coming up to the front, Again, the front bumper chrome is in great shape, just like the back. The front grille is also in great condition. I don't see any pieces missing on that. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to pop the hood and we'll go over everything in the engine bay. Underneath the hood, body color. Inside the aprons, firewall, all in black. What we have here is a 350 Chevrolet small block V8. We do have a Edelbrock Performer aluminum intake. Edelbrock four barrel carburetor. Of course, we even have the Edelbrock dress up kit with the valve covers and the engine air cleaner in chrome. We do have the chrome alternator, chrome bracketry. We even got the polished water pump and uh, we got the aluminum northern radiator in here. Of course, that's far better for cooling. And we got the chrome shroud. All goes with the look of it. We do have power steering and power brakes on this vehicle as well. Very nice package. Of course, uh, we also have the Excel Superstock wires. We've got the HEI coil. Um, all of that a little more modern than what it had when it was new. These things run very well. They're very light vehicles. Of course, that's more than enough power to make it scoot along pretty good. What we're gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna put this up in the air, go over the undercarriage for you. Hey guys, we got our 64 Nova up in the air. Uh, we're gonna go through the undercarriage and components as we do with every video, every car we do. Starting at the front, your control arms and so on look to be of a stock style. Um, we do have disc brakes on the front, drum brakes on the rear. And as you can see here, we do have a front sway bar on the vehicle. We do have a deep sump oil pan as well. Our front cross member here looks really good. Um, our front frame sections looks very nice. Looks really good there as well. Um, we do have dual exhaust. We've got long tube headers going to dual piping and a dual thrush mufflers. And we'll see those a little more uh, closely as we get back there. Um, the oil pan on our 350. Our rear main seal. Our transmission pan on our 350 turbo transmission automatic and our output seal all look really good. No leaks on any of those. Um, our transmission cross member also looks nice and solid. Um, moving along here, we're gonna address the uh, floor area. We do have a patch put in here that looks done really nicely. Um, we can see here the floors look really good in the car. You got your here, all your embossments here, your uh, fasteners, and mounts, your crossbars here. Floor looks really good. And also before we get back any further, you're gonna see we have frame connectors here as well. Of course, on both sides, that helps with traction, stability, and so on. Uh, keeps the uh, body stiff there, of course, especially when you have power put to it. Um, coming on back here, you can see your mounts here and here, crossbars here and here. You got your e-brake cable coming back. Come along a little further. We've got all of our embossments here as well. Now here we're coming to our dual exhaust. We got dual thrush mufflers. The tailpipes go up and over and down on either side of the leaf spring. And we're gonna address that in a second as well. Um, we do have the monoleaf leaf spring set up on this vehicle here. You can see our front spring mounts look really good. We'll look at the rear ones as we get back there. I've um, got stock style shocks here. You can see by the sticker on, they've definitely been replaced or newer. Uh, we got drum brakes on the rear. Um, our flooring up above the differential looks really good there as well. 
Coming to the back, our trunk floor looks really good here. We have an electric fuel pump on the vehicle here, which is mounted right here in this location. Our fuel tank itself, this is, looks like a fairly new fuel tank, nice and painted black as well. We got our straps, which look fairly newer, mounted here and here. And then our mounting points back here look good. Our rear leaf spring hangers or shackles looks good there and looks good there. Our rear frame sections look good and look good. Our rear differential cover, which this is a 10 bolt rear end nice and dry and our input seal here nice and dry as well no leaks at either of those uh, addressing our dual exhaust you can see it comes down into chrome tips right here and right here our flooring up above here looks good all in all looks pretty good under here what we're going to do now guys we're going to drop it down and fire the engine up so you can hear it run <laughs> 